His case is not about fame or fortune. It's not about book deals or press conferences or public relations. It is not a case about someone who is seeking attention or notoriety, and it is not about someone trying to make their mark as a part of the NATO family. What this case is about is the fact that Erica Nader Campbell was brutally and viciously, viciously assaulted by people she knew, including one man, Aubrey Dixon, whom she trusted and considered a friend. This case is about two men not taking no for an answer, about two men seeing a woman smaller than them, more vulnerable than them, and taking what they wanted from her. This case is about a woman who had her life taken away from her. There is no denying the fact that this case came to the judicial system by unconventional means, with Eric and Ada Campbell going first to the press before the police. But unconventional does not mean that these defendants are not guilty of the crimes that they are accused of committing. Unconventional does not mean that the analysis stops before it begins, that a woman victimized in the way Eric and Ada Campbell was on the night of May 10, 2012, is not entitled to a just and fair resolution just as much as victims who report their assaults to the police or through more traditional means. 